Hi everyone, welcome back to Rust Belt Broncos. And tonight we are going to be installing a screen protector on our eight inch Ford Sync 4 screen uh, to protect it against scratches and fingerprints. Now this kit I got from uh, this company called the ocdplug.com and uh, I'm gonna put their link uh, here in the description and what they sent me um, was this little kit it's got a 8 inch screen protector right here it's got a squeegee an alcohol pad which we're gonna use to wipe down the display of the screen get all current fingerprints and dust marks off and then we're gonna come back behind that with a nice little terry cloth um, clean any residue off and then what we're gonna do lastly is with this vial of water that has two drops of soap in there uh, we're gonna spray it down pretty vigorously and then I'm also gonna spray my hand down and then try to slide the screen protector on the display and center it nicely and then try to get as many air bubbles as I can out now the directions um, do say that there will be a few air bubbles uh, that will work themselves out um, with time. So currently it's 45 degrees outside uh, here in, in Ohio. So it's a little bit cold. So I'm assuming it's gonna take a little bit longer for those bubbles to um, evaporate out of there. Uh, but what we're gonna do is go ahead and show you um, how to install this this evening. Uh, so what I'm going to do first is start by cleaning the screen with the alcohol swab. I do have the Bronco running um, with the temperature turned up. Try to keep it warm in here for application. So I'm just going to clean the screen down real good. Try to get all the corners. So the screen's wanting to change there because it's on. All right, Let me try this one more time. Okay, we got the screen nice and clean. I'm gonna go ahead and take the soap applicator and water, give it a good shake, make sure it's got a good mix. Okay. And I'm gonna spray my hands down so I don't get any fingerprints on the back of the screen. I'm gonna go ahead and peel the protector. Now I'm not <clears throat> pressing firmly yet. Um, until it's in place and on the sink screen you can kind of see a little bit of a border now this does line up very nice all right I'm pretty happy with that so as you can see there's some air bubbles that I need to kind of work out so I'm going to do that now with the squeegee Just kind of holding my corner here that says work from the top to the bottom. And this is going really easy. Um, the applic applicator slides really 
well across the screen protector and I'm just kind of holding it in place because it's wanting to dry. A little firmer this time. It's getting a little sticky now because the water and soap's wanting to evaporate from the back. So I'm just going to dry some of the soap around the stereo here. You will get a little bit of water and soap on the dash, there's no big deal there. And then I'm going to lightly press and try to clean any streaks away. And there's just a little bit of a small bubble down here, so I'm just going to do a little tuck. Just cleaning some of the water residue and soap right along the bottom. And that's it. Uh, you can see here. All right. So everything is working good and um, I got all the water spots out of there and I'm pretty pleased with how this looks. It's very clean, takes a lot of glare off of the stereo. Move my light here so you guys can see this. But just really nice, really nice install, very easy to do. Uh, just about anybody can do this I feel wasn't too difficult and as you see I have less than seven eight minutes to install this and I'm gonna go ahead and let this dry um, just to make sure it's got a good contact on it but I don't see any bubbles or wrinkles in this everything looks really good So if you guys uh, want to get one of these kits for yourself, I'll put a link in the description. And uh, remember, it's www.theocdplug.com. And uh, you can get you one of these fairly cheap. Uh, the shipping, once I ordered it, I received it in about three to four days. So if you have any questions about this, feel free to call me or, uh, or excuse me, text me on uh, on a private messenger there and I will be happy to uh, answer any questions that you may have. Thank you for tuning in to Rust Belt Broncos. Make sure to like and subscribe to the channel.